In the morning when I rise In the morning when I rise Give me Jesus Give me Jesus Give me Jesus you can have trying to build the structures underneath. And it wasn't even just physical structures, it was it was more relational structures, um, you know, a lot of Let me tell you all quick. Okay, but hold on, I'm so I'm gonna say just right on that one. Okay. So John Isaacson was our sales guy and he was he's a typical sales guy, sell anything, mm -hmm. no matter if we could build it or not. Right. And I go to these meetings and we went to this meeting and I'm with him and I'm kind of taking notes and he's he's Anyways, he sold this thing. I had no idea how we were going to. Oh, no. And we're driving home. Well, we're driving to the office, and I'm like in the chair, just silently, like, you know, how in the world are we going to accomplish And he's like, what's wrong, dude? He goes, yeah. what's wrong? He goes, John, I'm trying to figure out how we're going to build like what you just <laughs> sold. Like, but I mean, he was just so happy, I remember. And um, and I, that's when I told Amy, you know, I felt like I'm. I'm just following these guys like building scaffolds so they yeah. don't fall off their mountaintops. That's right. Um, and I just remember that. It, it was so, he was so excited that he sold something. I'm like, how are we going to ever build <laughs> <laughs> that? doesn't matter. Uh, but um, so for an ESTJ, so I don't know if. Um, oh, but, but in all of this, there's not the real joy. Like, like, so that was a big win. But it's not like I go away rejoicing in the Lord and feeling like the Lord used me. There's, there's a. I mean, I'm, a, I'm satisfied. I feel satisfied. I did something, um, and, and and I wasn't super prideful about it. But it wasn't just the the excitement of being alive and doing that in community. There, there's a deadness. As opposed to right now. As there's a there was a deadness in the way that I went through all of it through my entire life, like I've never. That's been, what he's saying right now. I've never been alive until this week. Until like it. last week, so things things have happened that super are supernatural, which are weird to say because I'm a Presbyterian, but. Um, I am relationally like a thousand times more. But I was going to describe the ESTJ, so he doesn't understand. Mm -hmm. So you have to wait a minute. One more second. You keep taking all the time, but I. And I go. Out. So yesterday I went out. I went out. Yes. Part. Three seconds. Anyways, I just went out with uh, with Mike Kelly, who's my yeah. old boss, um, and we he did errands with me, and I interacted with people behind the counters, getting a permit for um, for a handicap per minute. Yeah. I interacted with them though, like in a different soul way that that just refreshed me and excited me, even though I'm dying. I even told one guy, I'm getting this from it because I'm dying of cancer, don't think I'm a loser. Because mm -hmm. I don't look like I'm dying. And he's like, well, you're hanging it pretty well. And, and, but then mm -hmm. from that point on, we had a wonderful interaction. So I'm just saying relationally that the Lord, His promises are real in the way that He is, He's blessing my wife and I's interactions, but every you know, every relationship I'm in right now is a thousand times different. I can't even explain it. It's so bizarre. My head has been exploding mm -hmm. for a week. Uh, but anyway, sorry. It's a lot to take in. It is. And when I come to die, give me Jesus. Give me Jesus, you can have all this world, you can have all this world, you can have all this world. Give me Jesus. Mm -hmm.